Hello and welcome to a soggy southeast lower Michigan uh, forecast here for today. Again, this is from Blissfield and you can see quite a bit of rain as the European model, which we suspected would have a better idea of what would happen to this system. And if we take a look at that, you can see with the uh, secondary load digging out at trough across the Great Lakes, we figured it would become negatively tilted and allow the first load to track farther to the northwest. And again, that's exactly what's happened, up to 2.17 inches of rain now in Jasper, just since before midnight a little bit, up to three quarters of an inch now in Blissfield, over in Tupperville as the rain continues to expand uh, to the north. And uh, we'll see, again, forecasted amounts I had uh, was one and a half to three inches in this area south of the line. And this is a 96-hour forecast that takes us into Tuesday. And while we may get a break early tomorrow into tomorrow afternoon, the next system will bring more showers and thunderstorms. That will encompass all of the MAC area. And again, though the heaviest rains will be southeast lower Michigan over into southwest Ontario. Again, one and a half to three inches storm total between uh, yesterday uh, evening and uh, Tuesday morning. If we look at the forecast map, you can see the low farther to the north rather than across the southern part of the Ohio Valley. It's going to track up towards Lake Erie. And the uh, WPC has included the southeast more lower Michigan in the area where flash flooding is possible. And no doubt we're seeing that already. If we look at tomorrow's map, we can see low pressure system, secondary low comes in, and that'll bring, again, the area a chance of showers and thunder showers. If we look ahead to the month of July, the new CFS version 2 model, climate model, continues our idea of the southeast states being warm along with the west coast. And if we get into uh, the month of August, it expands the warm air like we were hoping would happen. We would see warmer than normal temperatures expand into the Great Lakes. And then, of course, the warm temperatures out west. And much of this cool area is due to a lot of clouds, a lot of precipitation. And I think we'll still have a lot of pre precipitation uh, for the entire summer months. Thanks for stopping by and have a great Saturday and a great weekend. And 73s to all.